As you may know, there's a lot of different marketing strategies out there, and in today's video, I'm gonna break down which marketing strategy you should pick to get the best results for your wholesaling business. Hey, what is going on everyone? Devin Knup here with another video, and like I said in the intro, we're gonna be breaking down different marketing strategies and what you should pick. And really, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter which marketing strategy that you decide to choose on, Although some marketing strategies are better in different markets, and so you kind of have to kind of figure out yourself, and I'm gonna break down how to figure out which marketing strategy is gonna work best for you inside of your market, and then from there, just implement it and just go all in on that one marketing strategy. Because I really don't recommend that you just switch around and try all these different marketing strategies if you're not getting any results. I really recommend you just figure out one marketing strategy and then just go all in on that one marketing strategy until it's fully automated and you can kind of step away from that marketing strategy and implement a different marketing strategy. So the first thing that I recommend is kind of like the saying of don't fix it if it ain't broke. And what I mean by this is if you are finding people inside of your market that are implementing a strategy and you see it like all over the place and you know that they're getting results, then I recommend you honestly just duplicate that marketing strategy. They may not like it, but really at the end of the day, it's just, you, you're trying to do, do a couple of deals when you're getting started and there's no reason to really be fully original when you're getting started, when you're trying to make money very quickly and try to get results right away. Can you be unique and creative? Yes, of course, of course you can. But like I said, if you're trying to get a deal done very quickly, you, there's really no reason to be unique and creative if you're trying to get a deal done very quickly. So what I recommend is kind of just take an observation, kind of figure out what's going on inside of your market. And so different ways to do this is, are there tons and tons of bandit signs everywhere? Are there lots of different bandit signs all over the place and all these different spots and whatnot? Then obviously bandit signs might be working, but this also might be a lot of people that are just trying to get into bandit signs and then they they just have no idea what they're doing. So they just buy up a ton of bandit signs and actually let me mute the sounds. So with this, I, what I would really recommend is if you can find a consistent person that's doing a certain marketing strategy and it's, there's like tons and tons of bandit signs and you see this one guy's signs everywhere, honestly, just call them up. And what I usually like to do is I just pretend like I'm a seller and kind of figure out what their process is. That's really an easy way to break it down. Just call them up and just be like, hey, I have a house on, figure out some random address and be like, one, two, three, Main Street, and I wanna get rid of it quickly. Just act like you're a motivated seller and go through their process. I mean, people may not like you for this, but you're gonna be able to break down someone's strategy and you can literally just replicate that and just implement the same exact thing inside of your business. Figure out what practices they use so that way you can literally duplicate it and implement it into your own. And then on top of that, I really recommend that you go to RIA meetings and just network around. Now, obviously just going up to people and just being like, hey, what marketing strategy you use do you use that works the best Th that it people get kind of a little edgy when it comes to asking that type of question because that's kind of like their sole heart of the business and they don't want you taken away from their business but if they're a real go-giver they'll honestly just give it all away and it's really hard to find those people so this jumps into how to find a marketing strategy and figure out what works so what i recommend honestly is just figure out one of the main marketing strategies that a lot of people use and the main ones for getting like their first deal done is you go knock on doors, you cold call Craigslist or FSBOs or Zillow or something along those lines. Or the other option is you go to the county, get a list and either door knock it or cold call it. Or if you have a little bit bigger of a budget, then you send direct mail out to it. But just pick one of these strategies. Honestly, they're the three biggest ones and they're the most common, obviously. Uh, two of them. Well, one of them is 100% free. You just go on a free website, and then the other one, it just you cost of gas, and then the other one's kind of like if you have a little bit of a budget, and it takes a little bit longer. But there's a lot of people that are getting high results with this, and so really at the end of the day, what I recommend is just searching how to find motivated sellers online. Just Google it, and you're gonna find some some sort of website that's gonna have like 50 different ways to find motivated sellers. And what I recommend you do is just go down the list and figure out which ones you like the most. And really at the end of the day, just figure out what aligns with your budget and how much time that you have available and how much you really want to invest into this. I really recommend that you just take as much risk as possible and just jump all in. But that's just my own personal recommendation and kind of what I've learned throughout the time that I've been doing business is because if you're all clammed up and then just kind of like 
dipping your toes in the water is very hard to get success. But if you go all in and take a lot of risks, it really motivates you and drives you to get results and get, st get stuff done. And in this sense, you're gonna be able to get a lot more out of it. And plus you kind of deserve uh, the results that you're getting instead of just becoming lucky and having no idea exactly how that you did it. So really at the end of the day, like there really isn't one marketing strategy that's just a straight up gold mine as far as things go. There's a lot of marketing strategies that are just a lot cheaper than others. Obviously cold calling is way cheaper than direct mail. But it really just, whatever's working, you just gotta stick with it. And I really don't recommend that you reinvent the wheel. Because if you start trying to reinvent the wheel, it's just gonna put you a lot further back behind a lot of other people that are already getting success and already having the results. So if you just duplicate what other people are doing, then you're really not gonna have a problem. And I really just, like I said, I recommend you pick one marketing strategy, automate it, and then just keep doing that one until it's fully automated and jump onto some other marketing strategies. And so, like I said, if if you're not willing to invest a lot of money into this business, then you gotta invest a lot of time and just understand that concept. It's either you have a decent amount of money or you have time that you're willing to invest inside of it. And so obviously, if you invest both of them and you put go all in on both sides of the aspect, then obviously that's gonna be your best bet for results. But I'm just gonna leave it up to you guys. I, I mean, I really can't do anything other than just tell you exactly what to do in these YouTube videos. And I honestly give it all away inside of these videos. And it's just really a matter of are you willing to put in the results to get the success? Or are you just you really intrigued on the idea of having success, but you're not actually gonna go out there and go get it? And so really just understand that this applies to just about anything. Uh, everything's out there and it's literally all given away for free. And it's just really a matter of, are you actually gonna take it serious? Or are you just gonna think it's really cool? And honestly, what I recommend is that you think of this as like a legitimate business, because it is, but it's just one of those businesses that doesn't require a lot of startup capital. Now, if you're gonna be like starting up like a restaurant or whatnot, obviously it's gonna cost a lot of money to get into that business and you're gonna to have to work really hard to get results and just treat this business like the same. Like I said, it, it doesn't require as much startup capital or anything like that, but you have to treat it like a real business. And if you're not gonna take it seriously and not take it like a real business, then I really wish you luck and and for the best and I, don't, I really don't think you'll get results and you just have to really understand that if you want success you want results you got to take it seriously so anyways that's what i got for, for you guys in today's video just really helping you pick out a marketing strategy inside of my own business i you i started off with direct mail but i didn't like how hard the margins were there wasn't that big of margins so i started to move into cold calling and that's kind of where i'm residing trying to get all that figured out and so you guys can literally just duplicate what I'm doing if you really want. I have it all on this channel. Feel free to check out other videos. I got some links in the description. If you wanna check out some other videos that I really recommend for those of you getting started or those of you trying to get results pretty quickly inside this business. And so anyways, thank you all for watching today's video. If you haven't already, and you guys like what you saw today, join the fam, join the game by hitting the subscribe button down below. Also, make sure that you smash the notification bell right next to it. And for some reason, some of you guys have been saying that you haven't been getting my notifications lately. So if, you, if that's one of you and you're having trouble getting notifications, unsubscribe and then resubscribe and then hit the notification bell again. And then kind of sometimes that works and it resets the tripwire with YouTube. I don't know what's going on. Their algorithms have been kind of messed up lately. So anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. And like always, I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.